Are you hoping to dominate in Warzone rather than just survive? Equipping the perfect loadout can give you an advantage over other players. Seeing as you're spending cash to call in a loadout drop, you want to ensure that you're spending your money wisely. To help you out, I'm here to show you some of my favourite loadouts covering four different builds and why they're worth picking. Let's start with a weapon that you're already familiar with. The M4A1 is a well-rounded assault rifle that puts up a good fight against most opponents. You really can't go wrong with it, and if you're on the lookout for a build that rewards accuracy, this is the one for you. As we're focusing on precision for this setup, your movement speed is noticeably reduced. This makes it harder to escape if you mess up, but you can feel confident in your skills with this build. The Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel reduces aim down sight and movement speed, but stabilises your shots while adding range. The granulated grip tape also helps to steady your shots. You're searching for extra damage with your tactical and lethal slots, so the Semtex and Snapshot Grenade are solid choices. With regards to perks, you need overkill in order to use two primary weapons. Opting for an SMG like the MP5 or MP7 is useful for close combat at the end of a match. The EOD perk reduces the damage you take from fire and explosives. If you're playing with a squad, consider using Tune Up as your third perk as it reduces revive time by 25%. Remain alert at all times and you're bound to rack up eliminations from just a few bursts of devastating shots. If you fancy a change from the M4A1, but still want to stick with an automatic assault rifle, consider taking the M13 for a spin. It has low recoil, which makes it very reliable, even at longer ranges. It's been a very popular choice for streamers for a while now, and it's fine to pair it with a handgun as your secondary. You can always switch this out later if you find a better weapon on the floor. Your perks in this loadout make you as stealthy as possible. Adding a suppressor to the M13 is therefore advisable. Cold-blooded is always a good pick, as other players will likely use thermal optics, so this will keep you safe. Ghost is valuable in the late game, as it ensures you're undetectable by UAVs, radar drones and heartbeat sensors. Finally, Amped allows you to switch between weapons quickly to finish off enemies. I'd choose the smoke grenade as your tactical. This will buy you some time if you find yourself in a sticky situation. Choosing C4 for your lethal slot will also help you to top up your damage. Next up is the MP7. This is the best SMG in the game right now, so it's worth having a loadout that capitalises on that. I'd advise pairing it with the AX50 for the perfect balance of close range devastation and long distance precision. The FSS Recon is a no-brainer barrel attachment. It extends your range while smoothing out the MP7's recoil. Adding stipple grip tape as your rear grip also keeps this loadout feeling agile and responsive by increasing your aim down sights and sprint to fire speeds. You'll lose some aim stability, so the tactical foregrip is there to restore balance. Generally, it's a good idea to slap an extended magazine on your MP7 wherever possible, as its rate of fire is so high. In this case, the 50 rounds mag is a great way to mitigate your ammo guzzling. And trust me, you can rely on this balanced MP7 setup to get you out of trouble at any point in the match. Your perks for this loadout are a similar mixture to previous builds. You need overkill in order to use two primary weapons. There's no arguing with cold-blooded as your blue perk either. Amped makes the cut once again to increase your weapon swap speed, and frag and flash grenades won't let you down as your lethal and tactical slots. Our final build features a bolt-action sniper rifle that performs well at even the most extreme distances. The HDR beats the AX50 in both range and accuracy. Some just find it easier to use too. Attaching a suppressor is a smart move as it makes it trickier for your opponents to locate you. The monolithic suppressor is a popular muzzle attachment as it also increases damage range. Again, EOD is a good selection for your blue perk slot to stop you from taking unnecessary explosive and fire damage. High Alert has your vision pulse when enemies outside of you spot you. You can hunt others down using the tracker perk too. Equip a Semtex and a flash grenade and you're good to go. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep an eye out for more video guides on our channel soon and let us know which builds you're currently using in the comment section.